best piece of advice that I ever received in my life is a piece of advice I did not follow for years. And now I look back and I regret I should have followed it much earlier. And that was, you should absolutely focus on one thing. People talk about having an understanding of a business, a topic, a niche that's an inch wide and a mile deep. And what that means is you have a level of mastery on that particular topic, the understanding, you know, whatever it is you may be doing, because it's focus that enables us to do that. But as entrepreneurs, we really struggle with that. What happens is we get distracted by other things. It's like the magpie thing. We see shiny pennies and we fly off over there. And there's another little dazzle over there of a shiny penny. And then we're over there doing something else. And we come up with these lots of ideas. And we often with other entrepreneurs, I come up with 50 ideas a day as well. And then what happens? We never get anything done because we dilute ourselves so much. But when we're focused and we focus on one thing, then our productivity level goes up. It means um, really as an entrepreneur, when we get obsessed about understanding something because you're in the zone, your flow is uh, at that peak and you're really as productive as you possibly can be. And at the end of the day, the reality is we all have the same 24 hours a day. It doesn't matter who you are in the world, whether you're you know, that you're the president of the most powerful country in the world, you know, you've got a simple, modest job, you're a student, whatever it might be, we have the same 24 hours in a day. It's about what we do with that time. So when we focus on achieving the most we possibly can, that's when we get the best possible results. If we look at some of the most successful people in the world and what they've achieved, often it's because they're obsessed on one thing and doing that amazingly well. As an entrepreneur, that shiny penny thing just never really goes away. It's how you manage it. So as our businesses have grown, at the beginning, I was just scattergun. I was all over the place trying to do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I'm really not doing anything well. It's only when I did put the blinkers on, I said, don't talk to me about anything else. Let me focus. So now if somebody has a conversation with me, if it doesn't involve bricks and mortar, if people start talking to me about crypto and forex and everything, I start going blah, 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 blah. I don't want to know. I'm not interested. I am absolutely focused on property and all our businesses are property related. So to deal with this, um, this need for constant change and variety and doing different things, what I tend to do is build separate businesses in property rather than trying to achieve all that on my own. I have great people that I work with. So then they're working with me, they're building parts of business rather than me trying to do everything badly. Then I can get involved, add value, support that particular team, that department, build the, the businesses that we want to build. So this way we end up with several businesses, all property related, but they run independently because we've got great people working with us in those teams. As a bonus, the second best piece of advice I ever got in business was to use these and this in the proportion that we have. We should be listening way more than we do talking. And what that means is allows us to understand people, engage with people. So rather than waiting to speak because somebody stopped speaking and we want to just say what we want to say, we take the time to listen to what the other person is saying, really hear what they're trying to say, and then respond accordingly. And that really involves basis of communication. And when we think about business and how that fits in, you know, sales is a key skill in order to be able to get a result. Marketing is a key skill in order to drive interest. And uh, when we put those together and you look at what is it, ultimately is your ability to be able to communicate. What am I doing now? I'm communicating to you. Am I the best communicator? Or, or, let me rephrase it. Am I the best communicator or orator in the world? Absolutely not. But what we do, we try, we do the best we possibly can with the skills that we have, but we constantly work at it rather than giving up. And what that means is you just slowly get better and better at what you do. Hey, if you're enjoying these sad daily videos, then what I'd like you to do is click on my face over here to subscribe to the channel and also click on the bell in order to get the notifications when these videos are being released. Then what to do next is click on this video here and I'll see you over here on this video next.